Expansion of Masjid al-Haram Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh The coming expansion of the Grand Mosque in Mecca ordered by the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Abdullah, will facilitate the accommodation of an additional 500,000 worshippers according to Mecca Mayor Osama al Bar. This is one of the largest development projects related to the Grand Mosque and will change the face of Mecca, said al Bar. The expansion will create more prayer space on the northern and northwestern parts of the mosque, he added. King Abdullah ordered the expansion last Saturday. Prince Mu'tab, Minister of Municipal and Rural Affairs, said the project would include the construction of pedestrian tunnels and service stations. The royal decree covers the expropriation of real estate on the northern and northwestern sides of the mosque, covering an area of 300,000 square meters. Special committees have begun estimating the value of real estate in the area, Mu'tab said. As many as 1,000 properties in the area called Shamiya and Shubaika will be demolished as part of the expansion project and the government has allocated some 6 billion rial as compensation. Informed sources said the demolition of old buildings in the area would be completed within 60 days so the new project could begin. According to the mayor, new project, the new project will cover the area beginning at Masjid al-Haram Street in Gaza on the east to Jabal al-Kaaba Street and Shubaika Graveyard on the West. It will also run through Abu Sufyan Street, Yaquba, Abdullah ibn Zubair Street, Shamiya, Jabal Hindi, Khalid ibn al Walid Street, and Shubaika, reaching Jabal al Kaaba al Barsad. New pedestrian tunnels linking the northern areas with the new mosque's new courtyard will be constructed as part of the project. The total area of courtyards around the mosque is estimated at more than 40,000 square meters and which can accommodate at least 100,000 worshippers. On Monday, the Shura Council recommended additional budget allocations on the presidency of the two holy mosques in order to help it or extend better services to pilgrims during Hajj and Umrah seasons and conduct scientific research pertaining to the two holy mosques. The Shura also uh, called for conducting a study on installing sun sunshades on mosque's roof and its surroundings courtyard it also proposed the installation of new electric stairs on the northern side of the mosque up to the roof in order to help the faithful pray uh, during peak hours. It also called for the modernization of machinery and equipment at the mosque and the Kaaba cover factory.